Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I just want to touch on my current EDC and how I try to keep everything compact and lightweight. So my general goal lately has been to keep things as small and as compact as possible while still maintaining as much usefulness as I can get out of them. So let's go ahead and start with the stuff I carry. Uh, first up is the Story Supply Co. Um, notebook. This is from their, might be the Odyssey line, not sure. It's something about the Iliad and the Odyssey, I believe. But this is a very nice notebook. It's uh, navy blue with orange stitching. And as you can see, it has been used and worn and loved. <laughs> this is a very good size to like toss into a pocket. And it's still large enough for you to write on. It's dot grid paper. It works very well with ball points and roller balls. It does okay with fountain pens if they're, have, if they're a bit wetter or they use wet ink. It's not super great. But this is a fantastic, fantastic notebook. Next up is the pen that I write in the notebook with. This is the one that I always have with me. This is the Kaveco Lilliput. This thing is beat all to heck, and it has patinaed very, very well. But it's such a small pen. Um, I do keep the nib fairly safe if I can. It writes very, very well. Um, a bit more like a fine than a medium, but that's okay. And when you post it, of course, it comes up to a very usable length. Um, generally, I will have a, a larger full-size pen with me as well, but if I'm not at home or at work, I don't always carry one of those. So this is much more compact than the Lamy 2000 here, so I can just toss that right in there with that new book, and it just disappears. It's great. All right, on to my wallet. So I, same thing, small, compact. This is a little bit larger than a credit card, but not very much. Super thin. Um, I keep probably six or seven cards in here something like that this is a wallet from heg leather you can see their logo right there this leather is very very nice and this wallet's pretty get put together very well because of the simple construction um you can pick this one up fairly cheap i'll leave a link down to his etsy shop um i think these are 10 20 dollars he does do sales every now and then though so you can catch these for like 40 60 percent off you just got to keep your eye out ton of different leather options different styles too this is just their most minimal one and it's really all I need. Really, really like this wallet. All right, next up is the Victorinox Classic. Um, this thing's amazing. It's super, super useful in such a small, small package. It's It even makes the Kaveco Lilliput look big. This thing's great. Um, the knife blade's next to useless, I will say that. It's, it's not that it's too small to do anything. It just doesn't perform well. I, I don't know. It's, it's not great. However, the... Um, file here, it's really, really good. The flathead driver is nice. The scissors are good, and they actually do cut stuff. And the tweezers are very, very nice as well. It does have a toothpick, but I don't use that because it's kind of gross. All right, on to the actual knife that I carry most of the time at the moment. That is the Boker Plus Urban Trapper Petite. This knife is small as well. It is about the same size as the, as the little put, so if you have one of those, about the same size range. Um, it's, it's just a nice little knife. It performs very, very well. Very snappy action. This one in particular is the carbon fiber, which they did a great, great job with. The pattern on this is awesome. And it has titanium scale, I'm sorry, titanium clip and titanium liners. Did have a bit of lock stick when I first got it, but that's cleared up. It doesn't drop shut smooth necessarily because of how small and light the blade is, but it's very, very nice. Um, crown blade, crown blade spine rather. A um, little bit of jumping down the flipper tab. It's it's very, very nice, and it's a lot more usable than that little Victorinox is. Last but not least is the watch I have on. So let, lately I've been wearing this. This is the Mondane Classic Day Date. And in particular, this watch is small, but this watch steward strap helps a lot. I'll take this off and show you here. It kind of latches, and then it's this elastic fabric. that is very, very nice, very pleasant on your skin, and super, super lightweight. So the mundane here, um, I really like the just the minimal aesthetic of it. My the other watches that I have are a little over the top, so this is a good way to kind of keep it down. You can see the movement in there, and you can see it just going, going, going. Really, really like this watch. It weighs significantly less than my Makara Sea Turtle, and is a lot more compact. And on this strap, it weighs a whole lot less. But that is what I'm currently carrying, and how I'm trying to keep everything fairly small. Let me know what you're carrying down in the comments or if you have any ideas of anything I could pick up that might enhance this at all. 
feel free to let me know. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know that as well. And I will, again, leave a link down in the description to this wallet, um, the Etsy shop. I, I might go ahead and link some of this other stuff as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out my giveaway video. It is running for four more days. You guys have four days to enter that. After those four days, I will do a live stream and we'll go ahead and do the giveaway. So please, if you're interested in winning free stuff, go watch that. Go leave a comment. Go subscribe. And four days. Yeah, four more days. Um, currently, there's like 80, maybe 90 entries. So it's, it's getting up there. But that doesn't mean you can't necessarily win. So go check it out. And feel free to enter. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys. Bye.